What's up, everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening. And today we will be discussing Moon Conjunct the South Node in Sinistry. So if you have your Moon conjuncting someone's South Node, this is also going to indicate that you do have your Moon opposite to their North Node. Okay? Um, I do know somebody that has this in their Sinistry chart. Okay? And I thought it was very interesting. Um, topic to speak about, so we will be speaking about this today. When we're talking about the moon, we're talking about the fourth house, okay, because it's very much linked to the fourth house, but it's also linked to your mother or the person that actually raised you, okay, that motherly figure. It's linked to past lives and things of that nature, the domestic life, family life, home life. Um, it does actually represent your physical home as a child, as a youth. But it also does represent um, the way that you nurture people, the way that um, you want to be nurtured and things like that. This is um, this type of house. When we speak about the South Node, the South Node in general is linked to your past life. Things that went on into place in your past life. Things that you cling to, hold on to, um, and you need to kind of break away from unless there's other things in your chart that's also implementing that. Okay, so... The North Node is your life path. The North Node is your life path, your life direction, which you should be moving towards, okay? But because in your subconscious mind, you may hold on to the old ways, the old patterns and things like that. Okay, let's jump into this. Anybody that has Moon conjuncting their partner's South Node, this is what this will indicate for you guys. So you will, um, if you have this, you will, I'm sorry. So if you have the moon conjunct the south node, you will also have the moon opposite the north node in synastry. You can't have one aspect in synastry without the other. This aspect indicates an extremely strong past life connection that was imbalanced in some kind of way. So this couple, okay, um, could have dealt with some extreme things in their past life, and this is why they're being brought together again in this life. Usually, the person that has the moon, okay, the moon person was the one taking care of the north node person, south node person, okay, south node person. This is what this will indicate um, in the past life. So, the moon person was being there for them, caring for them, helping them. Um, if the other partner was sick, they was looking out for them, there for them, and really, really cared for them. So, sometimes this aspect could indicate or represent a mother-child past life relationship or a partnership where the moon person was much older and had to nurture the North Node, I'm sorry, the South, I keep saying North Node, the North, the South Node individual, even if the relationship was romantic, okay? So right here, you can see that this relationship has a lot to do with um, learning, okay? Um, Mother-child, if it wasn't a mother-child partnership, then the Moon person was definitely older, okay? Absolutely older, and they can actually be older in this life, too. The moon person. And if they're not older, they could be very much wise and mature for their age, okay, in this life. Okay, so in some way, these partners weren't equal in the past life, okay? Wasn't equal in the past life. So the moon conjunct south node, synastry aspect, is formed through an imbalance of nurturing, Okay, so this could have been a um, codependent relationship. This could have been somebody that was constantly dependent on you or pulling on you. Um, maybe even felt like they was a burden on you in a past life. When these two meet again in this life, you feel the sense of security, familiarity, and emotional safety, at least at first. So, in the beginning of this relationship in this life, these people pair up, they meet up, and they feel 
good around each other. They feel like they can open up with each other. They feel like they can confide in each other and just let all of their most deepest, darkest secrets to each other um, in this lifetime. So there is an instant attraction with this aspect. And it often feels quite positive because you recognize that you both need the same kind of security. So this is going to indicate these people are um, in this lifetime in somewhat on the same page. They want the same things. They need the same things. Okay. But remember, in the past life, it was very much imbalanced what was going on. Okay. It was some kind of... Um, I'm doing for you, you're, you're not providing for me. I'm taking care of you, you're not holding me down. I have to make sure you're good, you're not making sure that I'm good. You know, this is what's going on. The moon conjunct south node relationship makes you feel a lot of comfort in your relationship. As though you found a refuge, but you may not feel that you're moving forward. So you can feel very much stuck in this relationship in this life as well. When you're together, you tend to fall back on old patterns for consolation instead of growing and learning. These people have to learn how to grow with each other. Learn. Okay, it's nothing wrong with learning from your partner. Um, any relationship that you get involved with, period. Okay, you're going to learn something, whether it's to not do this shit again or um i knew that this was the one for me and it just didn't work out um because of a b c and d okay but you need you need to know that you learn you learn through every experiences even outside of intimate relationships okay you can learn from your brother your sister your mother your friends um somebody that was at the goddamn store you can learn from okay moving along so both individuals might start to feel that they're going in the wrong direction, even though the relationship felt meant to be in the beginning. Okay, so this is a relationship that could have felt like this person is the one for me. Um, I'm in love with you. I see myself growing old with you as having children. And those things may actually go on and take place. These people can have children um, together, get married. These people can do these type of things. But what could go on and take place is these are things that happened in the beginning. And then over a course of time, things start shifting and changing. They start um, feeling, did I make the right decision? Did I make the right choice? Okay. Over time, it starts to feel wrong on a deep core level. Like you could be honestly betrayed, okay, in this partnership in some kind of way. Um, someone could be um, lying, um, hiding things, um, not being fully honest, not fully being truthful about who they are, not being fully honest about what they have been through. Okay. Now remember what I said in the beginning, in the beginning, when they first get with the person, they feel very much content. They feel like they have met the one. So they open up to the person off the rip because they feel so um, familiar with them. They feel comfortable with them. But over a course of time, something goes on and something takes place that starts making the people involved feel like, was this right? This is some other shit. So the moon person feels like they have to take care of the south node <clears throat> person while the node person, north node person, feels like they simply can't let go of the emotional security and turn their back on the no person. Okay, so once again, the moon person is being the one that has to take care of the south no person once again. Once again, okay? Um, and this can come naturally to them clearly because they did this already. Um, but it could be a burden again, okay? Like you made the wrong choice again. You got to be careful with this one, okay? This aspect can make the moon person feel extremely drained over time while the south node person can start to feel held back by the lack of emotional growth or change. So, while the moon person is feeling overwhelmed, okay, uh, feeling like this is too much for me to be doing, but I'm doing it, 
the North Node person can start to feel like they're being held back due to a lack of emotional growth and change, okay? Because things are remaining the same. So to make this relationship work, both people need to push beyond their comfort zones, okay? You have to push through this shit. They must start taking the responsibility for only themselves without losing their sense of empathy for their partner. Both partners need to balance things out emotionally, okay? So it's a lot of um, emotional things going on with this relationship. And like I said before, these people could have been um, mother-child relationship, but this could have also been a romantic relationship in the past life where the person was still taking care of you. Now, if this is a mother-child thing, then, okay, um, yeah, you take care of your children, okay, and things like that. But sometimes you can... Um, be there for your child a little bit too more, too much to the point where they're like, you're smothering them, okay? You're doing too much for them, um, enabling them, and things like that. So now, this can be very hard to do, but it is possible and can help both people to heal past life wounds, okay? So I'm going to leave this <laughs> on this note for now. Please um, let me know what you think of this um, in the description below, in the comments below. I mean, um, anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. Thank you to everybody that's been subscribing, watching the videos. I appreciate you all. So this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.